Hi, here we are at Refugio di Plano, and this is my friend Lee, and we become very close, and we really respect each other and appreciate each other's company. We've had some really good, powerful times here in the ceremonies, and he would like to just say hello. Hi, yeah, my name is Lee. Um, I've been researching and wanting to do ayahuasca for a while now, about about two or three years actually, uh, but finally, finally decided to, to make an appointment. And looking around, my, my attention got caught with Scott's place here, Fuji Altiplano. Um, coming out here, I, I really didn't know what to expect. You know, I, I, I find myself a spiritual person already, and I, I would have thought that I would have some visions of enlightenment and such. But uh, coming, I, I was, I was re really blown away. I've been here for a week now, and today's my last day, but just to kind of give a recap of what's happened. Um, when I was four, exactly 20 years from today, actually, this is the death date of my, death date of my mom. My, my mother died 20 years ago when I was four years old, and I didn't know how much that impacted me. I didn't think much about it. I thought it was too young to hit me really hard, um, and, I, and I grew up. In a, in a very dysfunctional setting, um, and, and that taught me to be resilient. I, I turned that into a positive thing by, by being very resilient and, and strong and being there for others because no one was there for me. Uh, I, my, my second ceremony though, so unexpected, in, in, in the midst of a very powerful vision, after, after, the cer after I took the ayahuasca, I, um, I encountered very strongly the presence of the spirit of my mother. And 20 years of, of built up anguish and pain uh, and, and, and feeling frustrated was, was all let out. I, I cried the entire ceremony. I, I, I felt as though I was able to let everything out. And I, I felt as though my, my emotional blockages were healed. You know, I've, I've had so many issues with intimacy and love before in the past growing up, and I didn't know why. I just thought I was just a weirdo, and I'm still a weirdo, but I realized how powerful spiritual concepts can be, how powerful the invisible world can be. After this session, after these last few sessions, I, I felt a complete new vigor of life. I've been actually, for the first time ever, look forward to, to living my life. You know, during that vision, I, I saw my purpose, I saw my future, I saw what I could possibly do, and it was so beautiful. It was beyond my wildest dreams, and I, 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 I had such a strong reassurance, like even though it's a very subjective experience, even though it's called a hallucinogen, it, it really is more powerful and more assuring than anything I have encountered thus far in this life. It's given me a newfound strength and a purpose to go forward and on to my future. And coming here has become the most pivotal decision in my life thus far. And I, and I owe so much to Scott and what he's done here. This place is a place of complete love. The jungle, the staff, everything. It's a mystical, magical place. And I, I'm doing this video because I suggested it. Because I asked Scott that I wanted to. To let other people know who are curious or who, who might have questions. That this, this is the final stop for those that really want to make a change. I really want to push through the, the deepest issues that they might have to, to discover maybe purpose in life or, or see something, something greater than, than, what's, than what you presently see around you in the world. So just kind of a call to action. And I hope that kind of helps out and gives you an idea of what possibly to expect. Of course it's different for everybody, but it's very, power, it's very powerful for every person. So thank you. What I was going to talk about today was working with nature spirits, working with the spirits of nature, especially here in the rainforest. And I've worked with nature spirits all my life, ever since I grew up in Michigan and lived in northern New Mexico, lived in Sierra Nevada. But here I'm living in the most rich rainforest in the world. And we have an enormous amount of species here of trees, plants, medicinal plants, animals, insects, everything that makes up a healthy ecosystem and that's why there's so much spiritual energy here and that's why we work here 
And that's why we have the ability to do miraculous shamanic healing here. Because we're in touch with the spirits of nature. The spirits of nature are parts of our family and they're allies in our healing work. And they're also good friends that are really good company to have around. So we enjoy it very much working and living here. And it's extremely effective because every plant has its own particular spirit. It has its own particular Iman, they call it, or, or Damien, that's inside. And that is coordinated with all the neighboring plants, and it has a root system that supports the entire land and supports all of the neighbors and allows circulation. For instance, it rained for about five hours. The rain goes down into the ground. It comes up through a root system that's probably 30, 40 feet deep. Extend it over the side, holding this whole hill. And then it goes up, becomes sap, and comes out through the leaves. And that's what keeps the rainforest cool and what avoid having it turn into a desert. Now, uh, Samuel is going to take some of the sap out of this tree and show it to you. This tree is called Lechikaski. And the medicinal quality of it is that we use it to heal people of diarrhea. And I've used it many times to, uh, to save children, particularly small children, of dysentery. Now, when, when children have dysentery, they can uh, dehydrate and die in a very short time. And this is, is a sap that has absolutely no side effects. And the beautiful part of it is that it will, uh, let's check. And so we take this, it's like an herbal keopectate, okay? And so this will work wonderfully. It will take, uh, it, it'll take the problem out, avoid dehydration, and allow the digestion to return at a regular pace. It's really quite effective, and it served me very well. We have maybe 20 of these trees here on my thousand acres, and they're enormous trees. In fact, we have a big tree house in one of them down there, a great big tree house right up in the top of one. And so this is a very powerful tree. It's hundreds of years old, and it has an enormous influence, and it's enormous ballast to the entire ecosystem and to the healing program. Now, of course, our main plants here are the psychotropic shamanic plants. We use the ayahuasca. We use San Pedro sometimes. And those are very powerful healing spirits, and they're considered the fathers and the mothers of the other medicinal plants. They're extremely, extremely effective, and they teach you how to be in tune with your environment, in tune with your inner self, how to restore your soul, and how to revitalize your energy, and how to live a much happier, more joyful, powerful life. And so the reason why we are 30 miles from the nearest population center is because the nature spirits love it here. In other words, they congregate. They hold here. They have everything they need to be vital and to enjoy themselves and to give power to those who depend on them and who trust them. And that's what we do is we use these nature spirits to be able to heal others, to heal ourselves, and to increase the quality of our lives and to become more joyful every morning when we get up and to become more healthy and to become more aware. And the awareness is a great big part of it, the awareness. So you know who you like, who you don't like, what you like to do, and what your values are. Have your priorities in order so that you don't waste any time doing things that don't come from inside your soul. You don't follow programs 
that are artificially imposed on you. You follow your own destiny from inside. And that is the power that we have via nature spirits. Because the nature spirits, all of these trees, all of these animals have been around for many, many, many centuries. They've learned how to adapt to their environment. They've learned how to survive, how to evolve, how to refine their species. And they've learned all kinds of secrets of longevity that the human species has yet to learn. Because we are on a program that's far less long-term. It's far less conducive to homeostasis and to life with everything else around us. And that's why we have so much to learn from the spirits of nature. And that's why we maintain them as our most important teachers and our most important friends here in the rainforest. Mm -hmm. Now, I really appreciate you coming out so early, and uh, we'll go over some of this material again later on. And welcome to the rainforest, Jeff. Ah, okay. <laughs> a little, a little, uh, a little water never hurt anybody. I'm sure it work out well. Now, dale un poquito. See, try a little bit of this leche caspi. I think you'd like it. It tastes kind of, kind of like uh, sweet mother's milk. Mm -hmm. Now your chances of getting a diarrhea are pretty slim. Actually, I might that. Really? No, well, truthfully, we use it all the time. Especially after big ayahuasca ceremonies like the one you did last night. Yeah, it's definitely wise, you know. So, yeah, feel free. Cuando él quiere, solamente va a pedir porque dice que le paga necesitar más. Gracias, Samuel. Eso es todo. Yeah. This is what this place did for me.